we think that risk appetite still remains really very, very strong at a global level. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that this extraordinary stimulus from governments, from central banks and from governments everywhere remains in place. So you're right, there's been a tremendous rally, and that's led us recently to trim back our equity positions or recommended equity positions somewhat to a neutral weight. Uh, but we remain positive on Asia, expecting it to continue to outperform, really in many respects led by China. Okay, even given this run we've seen in the China markets, right? I mean, it's pretty extraordinary. You have some voices saying, wait a minute, do we need to be careful of a 2015 bubble-like scenario here? What do you think? Well, I think the key thing here is that the government seems to be encouraging it, right? It was really these press articles, these opinion pieces, and some of the leading Chinese journals, financial journals, that kicked this off uh, to the extent that it's happened. But also, you know, fundamental support the, the China story. So China is going to be one of the few countries in the world this year that is probably still going to see a little bit of earnings growth. Earnings growth should accelerate from about 1%, maybe a little bit above that this year, to close to 20% or a bit more next year. Uh, policy is still supportive. And although valuations have risen, we would estimate that the China equity risk premium is only about one standard deviation rich to its history. That's not a level that screams that this is a massively overvalued market yet. So there's lots of domestic momentum. Foreigners, I think, are just beginning to chase the market and the rally. It can probably go further. 